Hi guys, so the last video I made was on how to duplicate and rename screens in App Inventor. However, it didn't uh, work that well because the program I was using didn't wasn't working. And it only recorded one application. So now I'm going to do it with an actual uh, recording software. So first thing you're going to do is go to export selected project to my computer, so the .aia, save it where you want to, so I'm going to save it in my App Inventor folder, save that, now you won't be able to open it, however, you will be able to rename it, now you want to click rename, and you want to rename it to .zip, okay, once you have this .zip folder, drag out and copy the source folder right here into wherever you had it, wherever you had the zip file. So you're going to want to open the source folder, and then you're going to want to take whatever screen you want to copy. In this case, this. You're going to want to do open with. I usually open it with Sublime Text, but I'll show you it in Notepad. Okay, I click OK. Here we have it. You're going to want to do save as in that same folder, the App Inventor folder, in the source folder, in all these. And I want to save it as the new screen. So in this case, it's screen three. Then you want to save it. X out. Now on this one, you're just going to want to rename it real quick. Take out the .txt. Don't worry about that warning. It will not mess it up. Then you want to go. Want to go to your next screen that you want to copy. The same. Well, the same screen that you want to copy. Just that .scm. You're going to want to open with Notepad. And click OK. You're going to want to do edit replace. You're going to want to find the name of the app, of the screen that you want to replace, in this case screen 1, and replace it with the new screen, in this case screen 2, screen 3 I mean. You're going to want to do replace all, and it did work, as you can see there. You're going to want to do save as, like before. And you're going to want to save it as screen 3, or whatever the name is. Now you want to do it as all files, because it's going to mess up. If you don't, there you go. Now that you have this saved, then they all say BKY file or SCM file, no uh, TXT file. If it does, then just delete the TXT. Now, you're going to want to go back just to the App Inventor folder, to the root of the App Inventor folder without being in the source folder. You're going to want to go into the compressed one to the .zip folder. You're going to want to take the source and you're going to want to delete it. Yes, permanently delete this item. Okay, then you're going to want to take this new source folder, copy it into here. Now that we have this new source folder, we can go in and just check, and it has the new screen 3. Now you're going to want to go back to App Inventor folder. Now you can delete this one because you already have a saved copy of it. Quickly delete it. Now you're going to want to go rename. Now, let me show you what it would look like normally if it was view like this it would just look like this and it would say type compress zip file now you're going to want to go to rename and then dot aia but hey it doesn't work and that's because you don't have the file extension shown it still says it's a compressed zip file if you go into properties it's still a compressed zip file so you're going to want to go to view, 
file name extensions. And then you can see that it still says .zip. So you're going to want to go to, you're going to want to click it, you're going to want to do a rename, and you're going to want to take out that .zip. Click Enter, click Yes, and there you have it, your .aia file. Now, you can go back into App Inventor, go to My Projects, I'm going to quickly delete this one because I have a new one coming in with the same name. Now, keep in mind that you can easily rename the AIA file, as I'll show you right now that you can do. And I'll just name it uh, file, I don't know, big button, because that's all it is, the AIA. And then import it from my computer choose the file in this case it's on our desktop in the folder app inventor choose that okay click okay boom it's saved as the new name not the for video one there you have screen one you have screen two like you had before and now you have the new screen three which is an exact replica of screen one and you can do many more things with this thing, like how you can easily copy assets from one file to another. You can, instead of using a merger app, just do this. And what's really great is that if you have lots and lots of text on a screen, like I do on this one, with all these labels, uh, there's over 20 labels on this. Now I don't want to go back and make all those labels again. I can easily do this. It's an exact replica of this and it's a lot easier to change. And you can also change other things with these files. Like, I'll rename it real quick. Dot zip. Again. Okay, you can go into it. Source, App Inventor, AIA. Look at this. Go into the SEM file and like I'm gonna find title. No. What am I gonna find? Find this? It's a button, right? Button one. And you can see there is a button one. Now let me go back to the other project. Forgot about that. As you can see, there is a button one. Now if I change, I can change that to let's say button two. Now just file save. And save it in the same place. Uh, in the folder, save it, boom, you go back here, still that SEM file, go back, do what you, then you're going to want to do what you did before, take the source folder, copy it to App Inventor, put this in the source, put this in that, this in this, and before we put it in there, you're going to want to delete this one. I didn't click it. You're going to want to delete that SCM. Then you're going to want to go back into here. Move it in. Boom. There you have it. Okay. You're going to want to go back into App Inventor. Like we just did. Delete this one really quickly. Go back into App Inventor. Copy this into here. Delete this one. Rename. Dot. Control Z that. Messed up there. So I'll just like click yes. There you go. Projects. My projects. Delete project. Okay.
project, import project from my computer, the new big button one, click OK. Open it up. There you go, button two. Now it says button two. You can change many more things with this. Add in assets that would take a little bit to load and do many more things. Thank you. Signing out.